Okay, we're treating here uh, reflux in distal uh, right great sac in Spain with the origin of reflux being the hunter's perforator and not at the SFJ. We'll treat in a way that we close the perforator and this distal uh, part of uh, great sac in Spain without leaving any medication, any foam in the vein. Okay, we have all the three angiocats in there. The proximal one, it's uh, about four inches below the hunter perforator. And then we have two other cats, so it's A, B, C, we call them. Okay, raising the leg to about 20 or 30 degrees. Okay. Now turn, I will then place the ultrasound probe right over the perforator vein. Okay. Okay, start going back faster. Okay, go back, go back. So I am pressing on the perforator right now as she's aspirating this foam. We'll remove the aspirated foam from the point B. Keep pressure here. Okay, I'll start the injection and you start. Pull back, right, slower, slower. Right, as you can see now foam went from point B to point C. So I pull now this catheter out too and move this toward the other one. So practically we should have removed about 90% of the injected medicine and air. And that was an unnecessary medicine and air to be left in the leg and cause problems like pain and uh, increase the risk of DVT. So this, this should be a safer method. Do you feel any pain right now? No. Because usually with regular treatment patients feel a rather severe pain initially from the vein spasm. But with this technique, interestingly, nobody has complained of pain after treatment.